Hello! This presentation is for my app idea, Overcoming Depression, One Notification at a Time. I was a firefighter paramedic for three years. I was working these 24 and 48 hour shifts in the ghetto with very little sleep. I distinctly remember nights when I was driving in the ambulance, emergency lights flashing and siren wailing, and my eyelids were involuntarily closing on the way to a call. Between the incredible stress and awful sleep schedule, and of course my own insufficient coping mechanisms, I fell into a pretty serious depression, and I wasn't the only one. One of my co-workers, fire medic Tim Kaczynski, had told several co-workers about his suicidal thoughts. He even had a specific plan, and he shared it with some of the other firefighters. It was not empty talk. Tim took his life exactly the way he planned it. You would think emergency professionals would have recognized the severity of Tim's depression and gotten him help, but we did not. It was shortly after these events that I decided to resign from the fire department. Luckily, I came across your book on a recommendation, and it helped me greatly. Uh, the book was designed masterfully. The layout was very simple and uncluttered. All the steps are broken down into very digestible portions, and the language of the book really makes it clear that the authors deeply understand what you are going through, and they connect with you through the book. These same three basic principles were exactly what I had in mind while designing this app. Now, let's discuss some of the strengths of the app as opposed to the book. Often, taking the very first step is the most difficult for people in depression. Motivation is fleeting, you finally get sick of being depressed so you research what book to buy, one comes highly recommended so you order it, but then you have to wait days for it to arrive. Once you receive this workbook, you have to still have the motivation to open it and start working on it and make a habit of doing it every day. In the app, you just search depression in the app store, you see a very highly rated app, you download it, open it, and it takes the rest from there. Now the app is always with you, not just sitting on the nightstand next to your bed, if you travel a lot or if you simply want to do a quick exercise or two on your lunch break at work while you're feeling down, it's right there in your pocket. And perhaps the most powerful, instead of having to remember to work on it every day and to summon the motivation to pick up that book and start working, the app can remind you and urge you to keep going. Now let's see the power of these notifications in action. The first thing is sticking to it. The workbook advises you to spend about a week on each chapter. This takes a certain amount of planning and discipline, but one of the most powerful features of this app is the ability for it to check in with you periodically. Take the mood calendar, for instance. Instead of having to remember what you did all day, or every three hours, the app can just check in with you. It also will periodically screen you for depression, and if things are bleak enough, it can make suggestions for help. Finally, another unique feature is the ability to have customization. You can upload a picture of a loved one or another motivating factor, and the app uses this to remind you where your priorities are. I would love the chance to sit down with you and show you everything this app can do in detail, and I would love to pick your brain on how to make it even better. I'd also be very interested in a partnership if you would like to work with me. Together, we could reach and help millions of people. Thank you.